Aloha Ohana, Pastor Le Milani here. Okay guys, so I got some juicy stuff I wanna share with you guys, okay? And don't mind me if in my video like I hop from one subject to the next. It's just, it's all interconnects with each other and I'm pretty sure you get it, okay? And if anything that I share with you that you're like, okay, what? Please take it to God, okay? <laughs> Pray, ask for discernment, and test the spirit, and ask the Lord for his understanding, okay? Don't ever just take someone's word for something. You go and elevate your ears to the word of God. The Lord is the one you seek counsel from, okay? You seek, you ask, you knock. The Lord is the one who is there. Jesus is the one who is there. Who you, when you're seeking, you seek him. You put Him, you put God, you put God above everything, above yourself, above your wants, above everything, okay? So I share from my experiences, I share what the Holy Spirit put on my heart, I share with what the Lord has shown me, okay? So I want to share with you guys a dream that I had last night, okay? So I want to remind you guys before I even get started, remind you to always apply the blood of the lamb okay you always want to plead the blood of jesus over you over your ohana over your kikis over your home over the very foundation of your home amen okay you also want to stay rooted and grounded in jesus christ's love okay because this world will take you on a journey that you never sign up for or realize that you was even a part of it Okay, so you don't want to be a part of a part of something that you are against morally, spiritually, and you don't want to be tangibly entangled with what this world has to offer you on a silver platter, platter, all sparkly and fluffy and advertising to you because the world will serve it to you on a silver platter and glitz it all up, glam it all up to make you want it and be a part of it. But I'm gonna tell you right now, the world wants you, okay? The world wants to devour you. And the word of God wants to transform and renew you, refreshing you, and to revive you so that way you can bloom into who God will create you to be. And that is why the world wants to devour you. Bloom, beautiful souls, okay? So I'm gonna share with you guys and apply the word of God. Apply the word of God to all your steps, okay? Keep pushing forward, keep persevering in the mighty name of Jesus and apply the full armor of light on, okay? The helmet of salvation, the breastplate of righteousness, the belt of truth graded around your waist, your shield of faith, the sword of the spirit, and your feet fitted and shod, ready for the gospel of peace, with your roots rooted and grounded in Jesus Christ, for he is your foundation. And the word of God is the lamp to your feet. Amen. Amen. Okay. I will share with you guys my dream. Okay. So, the whole energy, it was feminine. The whole energy of my dream, it was feminine. Okay but it was masked it was masked it wasn't what it was presenting itself to be so i remember being like around these women and had women over there doing them you know being them and women over here being you know doing them doing their own thing and then i had i remember one particular woman she was Go, oh, I skipped, I skipped. Forgive me, let me go, let me rewind that, okay? Okay, this is how, this is how, I mean, this is how I'm gonna start off, okay? So boom, I was in this car. I got in this car with these people that I was, I guess I felt comfortable with them. And then once I got in, the vehicle looked weird. It was like every inch of it was covered with like furry carpet, pink furry carpet. 
down to the seats, the, the headliner, the roof of the car and everything was pink and fuzzy, like a pink fuzzy carpet, okay? So there was a driver and there was a passenger. There was someone already in the back seat and I was sliding in and there was someone that was trying to come in after me. But when I got into the, like right when I sat in, the driver of the vehicle went and slid their seat all the way back towards me and it was like like this the seat was like basically and I was like whoa when I pushed the seat forward I slid it back I said you can't come any further back like you like there's no room don't don't do that like there's no room and they're like oh, okay and then I slid over and then now we're going and then all of a sudden the vehicle itself turned into like like we were going and then all of a sudden it turned into like a tunnel okay but the tunnel in the front of the vehicle now is not a vehicle it's like we're in a tunnel and we we're just about to go in there and i look at it and it kind of looked like it was like a canal or something a tunnel and it was like you couldn't even see in it it was like we we're being eaten okay it was like we we're being sucked into this, this tunnel this furry pink tunnel like a carpet and I look and then it was like we we're on like a roller coaster now we're like sitting on like this roller coaster thing going okay on train tracks on a roller coaster going and I, I stood up I said I said no way Jose because then I get in out of here <laughs> so I stood up and I jumped out of the thing and I was running for my life and then as I was running I seen other people trying to run out of that tunnel too but as we're running there's a whole bunch of booby traps that is happening as we're passing through like certain phases of the tunnel as we're trying to get out okay like there's knives big boulders coming boom on dodge them all and right when at the very end of the the finish line for get out had this can of soda i remember this looks so harmless yeah that can of soda and it was like on this plank of wood and I had to run and like slide under that. So boom, I dodge all the booby traps and I'd slide underneath the wood and that can of soda spilled and it was acid in the can of soda, okay? It looked innocent, right? It looked innocent and harmless, it looked harmless. Everything else I dodged that I could see for what it was. I could see the knives coming. I could see the flame throwers the flames flying towards me i could feel the heat i could see the rocks and the boulders and people was getting knocked down by these boulders people was catching those knives in their body people were were not making it through boom i made them all the way through i slid under the wood boom the can soda went tilt fall and then it was acid and it poured over my whole body and i remember that had someone standing over there had two other people standing there and then I could feel like the flesh melting off of my body and then all of a sudden I started to um, I would look in the mirror there was I looked in the mirror to see what was going on and I could see I looked at myself and in the mirror my reflection and I started crying because it wasn't me who I seen in the mirror and then all of a sudden when I looked at my reflection I realized that it wasn't me I started crying and then it was rivers flowing out of my eyes cascading down my face and over my lips and it was washing me down off like that and the two people that were staring at me they were like why is she why is there's like so much water coming out of her she's crying why is there so much water coming out of her because usually normally okay you can cry you're gonna have just tears rolling down your face but I had gushed like I could feel it rolling down my face it was like a waterfall was rolling down my face okay so God was washing me and pouring his living waters upon me being with me in that very moment then now after that so everything is okay now so who am I going and walking and now I see those women okay the women over there doing their thing women over there doing their thing um, it was like some kind of like a beauty contest or something like um, like Miss America kind of thing happening um, 
had one woman was with me and she was kind of like sad and down and stuff and I was like I told her I said I said you are a queen don't you know that you're a queen and she started she hung her head low and she grabbed her her dress and she ripped it open like this and mind you she looked like a woman on the outside okay everything she looked like a female on the outside but she grabbed her chest like this and she ripped it open and what was inside of her was a distraught man a distraught man okay he he was frail hunched over he couldn't even look up he hung his head real low I remember seeing um, his male boxers and his sunken in chest so when I was talking to her it was a female and she was sad and I told her that she was a queen and um, she she weeped and ripped open her opened up like this and revealed her true self and she wasn't even a woman she was a man a distraught man okay so when I saw that I was like what and everything it even goes down to where like when the acid the soda that is harmless okay that represents the things that we consume that seems harmless but is actually being advertised to us it looks cool you know it looks cool like beer beer commercials i always mention beer commercials because beer commercials is like the number one that always uses women right uses women uses fun things that is advertising to us that makes us want to be a part so they they connect the physical part with the woman and sensuality with the women to their product and then a location they use like the bahamas or the beach or on a yacht or or in the forest somewhere but it's mainly on the beach okay everybody want to go sip a margarita on the beach so they give you that vision of connecting you with something tangible that you can do and be a part of it looks harmless but what happens when we don't have no control self-control okay we indulge right we indulge in these things that seem harmless so that can sort of as harmless as, as it is it poured over me okay people seeing what i was experiencing and i wanted to see my reflection and when i went in to look in the mirror it wasn't even me it wasn't me and what happened was the living waters jesus's living waters from within in me came pouring out and washed over me okay so god's love what's inside of you what's in here is who you are now you shall we should not be just identifying ourselves through what gender we are or the labels that people give us that's not who we are okay you're not limited to you just you're a woman so your duties is this 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 you belong in a kitchen you you know what i mean like women stuff that's that's not all you are that's not who you are okay even if you're limited to doing things on a physical level what you're limited to that's not who you are okay you are a child of god and with god everything is possible according to his will he will move mountains and take you on the next level okay your flesh this body is temporary this body is temporary your soul is eternal and you are in the hands of god okay so this dream clearly is screaming gender identity okay gender identity there's this whole thing going on of they, they're trying to teach the children okay about you know you can choose and this no i'm sorry but that's not something we should be teaching our children okay 
We shouldn't be talking about... Okay. We need to put God above everything. First seek the kingdom of God and everything else will be added to you. Okay? All my life, people focused on my shell, my outer appearance. Nobody gave me the chance to shine and radiate and be who I truly am because what happened is when they looking at me, they all their convictions and all their judgment and all their everything that they see when they're looking at me, I'm a mirror to them. I'm reflecting to them, having them see all the ugliness that is inside of them. And that's why people who are unhealed and are in de denial don't want to see that. So instead, they only can look at me on a tangible level. They cannot go anything deeper than skin because it's scary to go deeper than skin, right? Because if I go like this, I ain't, I, ain't, I ain't abrasing, cutting surface, right? I'm just touching it, okay? I can feel that. But what happens if you go deeper than skin? It's gonna hurt, right? It's gonna hurt if you go deeper than skin. But I'm going to tell you right now, the pain that you feel, Jesus feels that. And he knows how, and he knows why, and he knows when. And he knows who. He knows everything involved. He sees the whole entire picture of how it happened, what would happen, when would happen, and who did what. God's love is inside you. God's grace, you growing in His grace, in the palm of His hands. The Lord wants you to put Him first above everything. And stop trying to live in yourself and identify yourself and fight for identify yourself by what gender you. When really you are more than just what you were born. Okay? This physical body, you more than Miss America. You can be more than that. Just because you never win the crown, it doesn't mean you're not a queen. You are a daughter of the king, okay? Jesus Christ he has already done it all for us. And we'll be down here bickering and fighting about who, who's Bajeje and who's, who's Olo Olos and who get, who no more, who in change them and switch them up. All of this stuff, yeah? We're getting things all twisted and getting too tangible and intertwined in the things that don't even matter. Because we're getting sucked in with the politics and being critical thinking, critical minds. And then when someone try to come and share the word of God, because their heart is all, they're all the kind of ready to get their walls up. They already feel like you're pointing a finger and you're judging them. So they don't want to hear nothing you got to say. But you have the truth. You want to share the truth in the mighty name of Jesus. Well, we got to share the truth and be bold about it and be confident. Okay, because when God puts something in your heart to share and to say, it's not for you to be worrying about what other people going to feel or if you're going to hurt their feelings. Okay, but you don't need to be all up in their face and harassing people. Okay, because God don't want you to come off harassing people. God just wants you to share His love by what? being who he will create you to be okay and i understand that people out there are struggling with identity and i understand why because i look around i look at the advertisements i look at the movies they make I look at how parents treat their children. I see how people are fornicating, how sin is just normal, okay? Sin is like that, that, that carpet, that fluffy carpet. Soft and cuddly, harmless. Just like that can of Pepsi sitting on top of that rail, okay? Harmless. Don't look like it's gonna do anything. 
we have to start focusing on what is truly important is what's going on inside here everything on the external is going to be what it's going to be okay so when we connecting with one another right we're connecting with one another we want it to be on common ground on good soil so we're going to come knowing that we're rooted and grounded in jesus christ and we want to share love be love and receive that love back right but even though when we share love and those who know can reciprocate that back we pray for them amen and i'm gonna tell you right now not everything gonna be all sunshine and rainbows and butterflies and unicorns okay you carrying your cross daily doing what the lord asks you for do walking and working okay walking and working the best that you can in the mighty name of jesus you're putting god first you're doing the best you can to walk the way the lord is asking you to walk and how are you gonna know which way to go how are you gonna know you even doing what you're supposed to do you gotta go to god with it you gotta surrender it lay it down nail it to the cross and lift it up to god in prayer okay put god first Stop putting yourself first. Stop putting your friends first. Stop putting your addiction first. Stop putting your family first. And try to put God first. And watch Him work everything out in your family. Not when you like Him. Not how you like Him. But He will get them in order for you. You cannot get things together on your own. Over there with the super glue. Trying to glue all the cracks and the crevices. Trying to match them all up. Everything looking all twisted. It's because we're op operating out of our own strength. You see? Our flesh, we're limited. There's no limitations. No, no, no depth. No height. No anywhere that is hidden from, from God. He sees it all. He feels it all. He knows it all. So we want to be obedient to Him and not obedient to the world and share what people want to hear and tickle their eardrum with what they want to hear people want to hear you're doing a good job and keep on doing it no we can do better and we need to keep on persevering in the mighty name of jesus and not persevering in our own name and in our own strength we can't we gotta stop doing that yeah we gotta start surrendering them and laying them down because we're carrying around, dragging around. Hello, God made you the head and not the tail. You above. He put you above and never beneath. So if you're dragging around down there, you're dragging down there because you got yourself down there. Not God. It's not because God would put you down there. It's because you got yourself down there. God has his hands out reaching for you. Amen. The thing is, do you have enough strength in you to look up and reach back? You don't even got to lift your hand in your own strength. You just got to cry out to Jesus. That's all you got to do. You just got to cry out to the Lord. Lift it up in prayer. I'm telling you right now, the Lord will pour His living waters within you. So when you are weeping, He'll wash your tears away with His living waters. Amen. The Lord is going to revive your, His love, His love within you. So when you're sharing love, it's not going to be you trying. It's going to be you doing and it's natural. Amen. So when you look in the mirror, you can see past what everybody else can see and you can smile and you can feel good about yourself because you know you are a queen amen so right now just rip off all the mask all the labels that the world would apply to you okay including the labels your parents would apply to you your friends would apply to you your enemies would apply to you Okay? Your foe went applied to you. What Satan went applied to you. Cancel them in the mighty name of Jesus. And put this. Jesus Christ is your banner. Jesus Christ is your Lord and your Savior. Jesus Christ is the one who delivered you. He is the one who revived you. Amen. Amen. God is so good. So we don't want to be on that bandwagon. We don't want to just be jumping in the vehicle. Letting the driver smash us. And we're just going along for the ride. 
enough is enough. So I remember running, running out of the stuff, the tunnel, running, and I can see all these booby traps happening, and I see other people. When I went turn around for a while, I already had people running. But these people was running a long time, trying to get out. Boom, they was getting wiped out. Me, I, I was like, I ain't, I, I went deny that. I never claimed any of that. Boom, sorry for what it was. I was out of there, cousin. Jesus, he deliver. Amen. I could have got sucked in. In real life, I'm not talking about it in my dream now. I could have got sucked in in real life. I was running in the wrong direction for a long time. Just trying to survive. I was doing it on my own. Yeah? From a young kid, I, I, I was taught that I had to catch my own back. I was taught that nobody gonna be there for you, so you gotta depend on yourself. I was taught that I'm my brother's keeper, so I gotta make sure he good. I gotta make sure my mom good. I gotta make sure my dad good. I gotta make sure my family good. I gotta make sure that if anything happened, my dad messed up, my mom leave, I don't want gotta get them back together, was, was put on me, the responsibility. So I kept running in the wrong direction, trying to put pieces together over there with the super glue, trying to fit all the cracks in the crevices, and that's why I was walking around all twisted up, all twisted up and knotted up. My body falling apart. In all my relationships, I'm over there trying to mend, make everything all good, trying to be one peacekeeper. I don't like stir nothing up. I don't like make nobody mad. I don't like offend nobody. So I just, I just be like a mouse and keep to myself, do my own thing. And there was times where I buckle loose, I'm telling you I buckle loose. And I did some stuff that I am proud of, but at the same time, that was just a reflection of my pain inside. That was a reflection of what I was going through. And some people, they self-harm. Me, my release was sex. I ain't gonna lie. My release was getting physical, okay? In a bad way. Well, both ways is bad, if you ask me. If it's outside of marriage, it's bad, okay? <clears throat> but my thing, my release was sex, okay? So at one point, I was, I was addicted to porn. Yes, believe it or not. I'm being real with you guys. At one point, I was addicted to porn. I thought it was okay to be my sensual self and be in tune with my feminine self and be me i can be whoever i want to be i thought i was do i was doing me i was being me b was doing b okay i was drawing in all the wrong energy i was doing all all the wrong things and i had so much potential and i was just drowning myself in my misery and out of that journey I met some really good people who were really authentic true raw friends and there was a whole bunch of foes mixed in there and there were some that I would love them anyway I knew they were foes I love them anyway be as kind as I could yeah Then when my health started going down the drain so bad that to where I, I literally almost died. Multiple times almost died. Jesus Christ is the reason why I'm here today, okay guys? I'm not even joking, okay? My drinking almost killed me. My smoking my weed and my drinking together in the combination almost killed me, okay? I had to get serious. I had to lay it down. I had to surrender it. I had to nail it to the cross and I had to give them to God. Yeah. Okay, so I understand those of you who who deal with addiction. I understand. I understand from a personal perspective and from a child's perspective witnessing this type of lifestyle growing up. Okay. So throughout your journey in life, don't be ashamed of what you did. Don't be ashamed of where you came from rise above it share your testimony share where god will pour his living waters upon you okay because god will renew my heart 
you have preserved my heart even though i did all kinds of stuff god never looked at that and was like worthless no he will look at me he dust me off he wash me clean and he pour his love upon me he just kept pouring his love pouring his love pouring his love and pouring his love upon me and i was growing in grace throughout that whole entire process and now joy is along for the ride in the mighty name of jesus so remember no matter what it looked like god got you no matter what it feels like god got you and no matter what it may smell like god got you okay I'm telling you telling you god love you so much he like you push you he don't like you give up okay because he know that what you get going on and what you're going through is common to man you're not the only one struggling but do know that your struggles is not in vain put god first let him help you let god heal you let him restore you let him refresh in your step let him revive his love within you let him and allow him to pour his grace upon you child of god god love you you over there moping around telling yourself nobody love you honey you are wrong god love you and his love is above all love amen his love is true love his love is what love is okay your identity search no further look in here god is with you every step of the way you are a living temple of god and god resides within you his holy spirit dwells within you the holy spirit is your comforter the holy spirit is the one that help you to navigate throughout this process while you growing in grace okay don't be too hot on yourself but be real with yourself and sin is sin so we want to repent and share and tell just pour it out and tell god everything about you get going on inside you and just pour them out repent and just pour them out to the lord no hold on hold on to him anymore because you already know but he's waiting for you for let go so you can grow in his grace amen because some of us were over there hanging on to their life hanging on like no we don't like let him go we don't like let him go we're scared we're scared of the unknown guess what honey tomorrow is unknown we don't know if we're gonna be here tomorrow we don't know what could happen tomorrow you know more tomorrow you know more even yesterday. All, all you have is right now. This present moment is all you have. Yeah. Be present. Be present. If you feel like you get clouded, your thoughts get clouded, or you, you just don't know what to do, start doing breathing techniques. Okay? Start breathing. And move your arms around. Stretch your arms. Lift your arms up like, you, like you're a bird, okay? Act like you're a bird. Start flying. Start soaring, okay? If you sometimes we got to do these things for shake things up, okay? I do this. I've been doing for a whole week. I noticed my body wasn't as sore because I was moving around. And I was stretching and I was breathing. So when I inhale, i lifting up my arms. And as I exhale, I slowly dropping down my arms with the rhythm of my breath. And it connects me. I feel more grounded, okay? And we're focusing on the Word of God while we're doing this, okay? We're focusing on Jesus as we're doing this. We're thanking Him internally. We're thanking Him for this breath. And then when we're exhaling and we're dropping our hands down, we're releasing them. So if you have any pain that's this stuck in your heart we want to give it to god lift your hands up to the lord amen and if you're lifting your hands up and you got to drop to the ground then you drop it down to the ground and you exhale and you release it in the mighty name of jesus amen release them you don't gotta hold on to them jesus christ already done everything for you god already will make the way amen god already will make the way in the mighty name of jesus he is the way he is the truth and he is the life. He is the lamp to your feet who will lead you and guide you to and through truth in the mighty name of Jesus. 
Your identity is in Jesus Christ. Amen. You are a child of God. You are precious to him. He loves you. Please do not believe the lies of the enemy. Therefore, we do not wrestle against flesh and blood. Okay, we're not wrestling up against flesh and blood. But about the evil and wicked ways of this world, okay, of the principalities of this world. So we want to stay armed up with the full armor of light on in the mighty name of Jesus, okay? Stay prayed up. Pray for your kikis. Pray for your ohana. Pray for everything that you see, you witness that is, get something going on, you pray for them, amen. You lift them up in prayer, and you plead the blood of Jesus over your family, okay? <sighs> Last night, before I went to bed, go check them out, okay? It's called Moving Art. It's on Netflix. And I forgot the guy's name. Louis something, his name. I have it on my TV, but I don't know if you're allowed for show stuff. So I don't want to do that and get into trouble. But um, it's called Moving Art, okay? And it's all of God's creation, okay? Waterfalls, mountains, the ocean. Right now is an uh, ocean one, and there's an eel with a tiny little fish in his mouth, and it's eating its... um. Wow, that is so crazy. It's eating all the, like, whatever food had in its mouth. So, anyway. It's a really good show. Well, anyways, last night, just before I went to bed, I was sitting on top of my edge of my bed, and I was watching them, and this series that was on was all about flowers blooming. And you can see, like, the flowers wasn't blooming slow. It was, like, actually the flowers would, like, um, what do they call it? Time lapse. So you can see the flowers blooming, opening, flexing, flowing like this. And then the flowers, when the flowers bloom, they're doing this dance. Okay? They're doing this dance. And you know, can watch and see that dance happening and take, taking place in just sitting there and watching them like this. You might see them move from the wind, but you're not going to see it blooming and blossoming into what the Lord been created to be, okay? So it's the same thing like you. There's a process you're going through. Time has passed. Things have gone on. Yeah? The thing is, are we learning from our mistakes? Are we giving God, you know, giving God the glory? Are we reaching for Him? God is reaching for us. Are we reaching back? Amen? Because when we're reaching for the Lord, the Lord, He's, he's, he's our strength. He's, he's the one guiding us, protecting us, and shielding us from the evil one. Amen. So when the Lord reaching, you're reaching for the Lord. Because the Lord reaching for you, you're reaching for the Lord. It's so you can reach back to the next one. And you bring them up to where you are. And you, you share. And you be. And you give love. Amen. You sow them seeds in the mighty name of Jesus. And God is the one who will water them. Amen. Jesus Christ the one going to be pouring the living waters within them. Share the overflow in the mighty name of Jesus. So go check them out. It's called uh, Moving Art. It's pretty cool. Sometimes, you know, I'm in a mood for watch something, but I don't really like watch movies because it can be a distraction, you know. And I just get a kick watching the different creatures and just how beautiful God's creation is. I mean, the waterfall one is amazing. But I really went enjoy the flower one. Oh, I just had this big smile on my face, and I felt so, felt so, oh my gosh, I just was like, wow, Lord, you're so amazing, you're so awesome, and I, just watching the flowers do the dance like that, the flowers are dancing and blooming, and I felt like I was blooming while I was watching the flowers, I was like, oh, shit, that's how I feel, Lord, thank you, and I, you just fill me up with your joy, just by watching the flowers bloom. Being able to witness that, yeah? Yeah. So it's called Moving Art. And it's on Netflix. Pretty sure if you just type that in, the thing should be up there. And I don't know if this guy's on YouTube too, but he might be on you. He might have this stuff on YouTube. So check that out. That was very interesting and it's pretty awesome. Yeah. Okay, um, sorry, I didn't want to make this video too long, but, you know, I hope that everything that I want to share with you will help you in some way. You know, I, I don't have control over 
how this how the message affects you right so if anything that while i was speaking that had tugged at your heart and the holy spirit has convicted you of anything please take it to god and pray to god and ask the lord pray and ask him okay seek counsel from the lord seek counsel from god god's word is the lamp to your feet okay elevate your ears to the word of god keep persevering in the mighty name of jesus and put god first above everything else amen and know that your identity is in christ jesus amen amen god bless you ohana remove all the masks all the labels in the mighty name of jesus we cancel all the plans of the adversary of satan we cancel all his plans in the mighty name of jesus amen in the mighty name of jesus amen god bless you ohana okay go ahead and enjoy your day and praise god with all your heart in spirit and in truth in jesus name amen